Hi guys, welcome to JavaInterviewQuestions.com. This is Sandi. Today we'll see a tutorial on Java keywords. Okay, this is one of the important and fundamental concept. Java keywords. So, what are Java keywords first, and why they are used, and what is the purpose of keywords in Java? So, first one is Java keywords are nothing but they are predefined identifiers which have special meaning. These keywords have special meaning which are useful for communicating with the JVM. So totally there are 50 keywords available in Java language. Out of these 50, 47 are added in Java 1.0. So 47 keywords are available from Java 1.0 version. And in Java 1.2, strict FP keyword was added. In Java 1.4, new keyword asset was added. In Java 5, new keyword enum was added. So totally there are 50 keywords. So here are the important points on the keywords. First one is Java keywords cannot be used as an identifiers. We cannot use this Java keywords to name the classes, interfaces, etc. And second one is literal such as true, false and null are not keywords. So people usually get confused with these three keywords. One is true, false and null. These are not keywords. And third one, const and go to are reserved keywords but they don't have implementation, implementation in GDK. So they are not used. So const and go to are not keywords, so they don't have implementation in JDK, so they are not going to be used. So here are the list of 50 keywords, we will go through one by one in order and where they are used actually. So the first one is class interface and enum. Class interface and enum. These are the three keywords used in Java files. That means we will be creating class, we will be creating interface, we will be creating enums. So those are related to files. So we have three keywords related to files. And second one is data type. So data type tells what type of data to be stored and what range of data to be stored. So here are the required data types. Byte, short, int, long, float, double, char, boolean, void. So why I have mentioned void in the data types is void does not return any value. It's not, it's not like a data type, it comes under a return type kind of thing. And uh, memory locations, one is new, new keyword is used to create an object. So that is the reason it represents a memory, object is represented in the memory by using new keyword and static. Control statements. So control statements are if, else. In control statements, we have three types: conditional statements, loop statements, and transfer statements. So conditional statements are first one is if, else, switch, case, default. And this switch case default are three. These three keywords are related to switch statement. And next one is loop statements. In loop statements, we have while, do while, and for. While, do while, and for. These are the three types of different loop statements. And next one is transfer statements. We use break uh, and continue and return for transferring the control, control flow within a program. And next one is packages. So in packages, we use import keyword to import classes and packages. Accessibility modifiers. We have three different types of accessibility modifiers private, protected, and public. Private, protected, and public. We, if we want to access a modifier within the same class, we declare that as private. So when we declare a access modifier, when we declare a variable as private, it will not be accessible from anywhere from the outside world. Protected and public. Next one is modifiers. Static, final, abstract, native, transient, volatile, synchronized, strict FP. Next one is related to objects. So super, this and instance of. This is used to represent current object. Instance of means, instance of means we'll check whether an object is of particular type or not. And inheritance. In inheritance we use extends keyword and implements for implementing an interface. Extend for extending a class. Next, in exception handling, we use five keywords. Those are try, catch, finally, throw, throws. These are the five keywords related to exception handling. 
Next one is reserved keywords. Cons and go to the reserved keywords. We are nowhere implement. We are nowhere using these keywords in Java because we don't have any implementation for these two keywords. But since they come with JDK, we say these are these are part of uh, keyword stack. But we are not going to use anywhere. So these are the list of 50 keywords. Hope you guys understand this keywords concept. Thanks for watching my video. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my videos.